Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat um, a Polish chicken drumstick. Now, this is a stick on the back which has basically was falling off. It was on the back of him and it's basically falling off in the fridge. Now, and it says chicken drumstick. Smoked steamed chicken drumstick. Now this is surprising to me because I'm used to having, if I've had chicken drumsticks, they've either been roasted where they just go straight into the oven or it's something like Kentucky Fried Chicken where I assume they're deep fried. But this claims to be smoked. Yes, they actually wanted the chicken to take up the smoking beforehand apparently. Um, that's a joke. And um, apparently it's been steamed. Now I've never come across steamed or smoked chicken before to my knowledge okay and um let's say it's 100 grams of product produced from 102 grams of chicken drumstick okay um so no idea what they mean by that but never mind and it's got the drumstick the salt starch stabilizers acidity regulator thickeners flavor enhancer which I claim is monosodium glutameter or something like that. Um, antitoxant um, and flavouring and detros preservative. Um, it's got a lot of other stuff as well. Right now, um, there you'll notice in the corner it's got. PL, that means Poland, and at the bottom you've got some sort of Polish address. Now I got this because I was actually very hungry and I just happened to be near an international um, shop here, right, in my neighbourhood, okay, and so I went and got some. Now, as I said, I've never had, now, as I said, until, like, I've tried this, okay, now, I'll be honest, I'm going to come clean here, right, this is not a fair test, because I did actually, I was so hungry, I actually ate it on the way home, one of them, right, but before then, I had never, before getting this packet, I'd never ever in my life seen any, um, smoked chicken or, you know, um, steamed chicken, so, this it was a new experience for me. Now, I was used to sort of like Kentucky Fried Chicken, where I can remember there's not a lot. But on this, it seems they've taken off a lot of the um, skin, so you just get a lot of the. It's almost it's almost like a sort of ice cream cone in a way. This is almost like an ice cream cone where you've got the skin at the bottom, and at the top you've got the rest of it. Almost like an ice cream or something. It even looks a bit like an ice cream in some ways. Okay strange but true right which is a bit where i'm used to more skin i think right and you'll notice here that this is the chicken part not the skin and it looks very sort of reddish and that's i believe part of the smoking that's been done um look inside it's one thing I did discover about this is it was ex extremely wet and juicy. And it's not because it's been in the fridge. This was even after I took it straight out of the shop and made it on the way from home, one of them. And I got a great surprise at that because this tastes totally different to how I'm used to chicken tasting. It doesn't taste like you're getting Kentucky Fried Chicken or from a normal British supermarket, you know, I mean, I mean, they might have something like this in a British supermarket for Polish people or something like that, but if you're just going to the normal British section for British customers, I've never seen anything quite like this, truthfully. And like I said, usually they're just roasted or, you know, like Kentucky Fried Chicken where they follow deep fries, I guess, I don't know. Unless Kentucky Fried Chicken often bake them as well now, I don't know, but, yeah, this is 
much more better than I'm used to. I'm thinking of smoking. Um, what really shocked me was the amount of juice in it because normally it's fairly dry. Okay, it's very dry and has this very dry taste, which is what you'd expect. But this is like really, really watery and very, really juicy. And that's possibly because of the um, steaming they did, where it was rather than a very dry oven where all the heat, where all the um, moisture would evaporate, it was steamed instead so it would actually add more moisture rather than remove it. And this was something I'd never come across before. I've, I've, I mean, I'll be honest, I mean, my mum has smoked ham, okay? With some, with some cheese biscuits. So I'm aware of the smoking idea, but for ham and things, but I've never seen smoked chicken before, truthfully. Um, if I hadn't been in this international shop, then um, um, I'd probably never come across anything like this. It does taste different. I mean, I really do mean different. It doesn't taste like, if you're used to roast chicken or anything like this, it tastes totally different. There's definitely a smoky taste to it, definitely. Um, and it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, I mean, originally I didn't even notice this, I just thought Dick and Gum Pick and picked it up because I was hungry in, in an area where I was at, there didn't actually have any things like this, so I thought, well, okay, I'll just get some and eat them on the way home. And I thought it was the same thing, to be honest, just a published version of the same thing, but no, it does taste totally different. So, Also, again, it's much soggier. So, I think, to be honest, I prefer the skin of the um, normal Western way of doing it, normal British way or American, whatever you want to call it, way of doing things. The sort of thing that they do it in Kentucky Fried Chicken or something, to be totally honest with you. But, regarding the rest of the meat, it is surprisingly tasty and astonishingly juicy, which I was not expecting. I mean, as I said, I ate this originally on the way home, so I'm repeating my experience, so I don't seem as shocked as I was at the time. Because at the time I was absolutely gobsmacked. Um, all things side with a lot of redness, Hopefully that's not bad. I mean, it's, it's ready to eat, so, you know, you're not meant to heat it or anything like that. Just... And yeah, if I... Something that normally I wouldn't really consider because, you know, I thought, well... I'm going to be have to be careful how I say this, but you know, I thought it's going to be Polish, it's going to be rubbish because it's from Poland, it'll be inferior because they've probably got because they're poor people or whatever, and so the stands will probably be worse. But I'm surprised this is definitely different. Maybe. And because in places like Poland, maybe, maybe because they were poorer, they couldn't afford to have the oven on. So. Maybe they used to same things and do other things rather than cook them in an oven because maybe they, it was just too expensive to uh, heat things in the oven for them. I've no idea, but yeah, definitely different. 
chicken like you've never tasted it before, I promise you. If you're a usual Kentucky Fried Chicken type person. Um, I saw that um, after I got these, by the way, and after I tried one on the way home, I did come across um, an episode of um, Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares on YouTube from his official channel. By accident, they came through talking about this kind of thing. They were talking about how one woman had a restaurant that had been paid for by her parents for her or something. And they were like smoking, putting these um, chicken wings into some sort of professional smoker. And then cooling them down and then microwaving them the next day. And Gordon thought it was a travesty. Because um, he thought they should be like served immediately or something, you know. Because he thought it was a waste to do things very fresh and very nice and then serve them a few days later. I don't know. I mean, I'm eating this about two, perhaps two or three days after I opened the packet. But I mean, obviously this would have been done probably a week or two before, probably. Um, but, you know... It is what it is. I mean, I've not tried to reheat it, and they tried to reheat it in a microwave. Um, I didn't, you know, wasn't even aware you could even reheat cooked um, chicken bones in a with bones in a microwave. But I'm not an expert, so you know, yeah. If you feel like um, trying something different sometime, then this is definitely different. Okay. There we go. I'm going to show you the packaging again. This is the label that fell off the bat. Said Rob is apparently the brand name. And it's dated the 24th of the 5th. So that's way in the future. Way in the future. But they do say you're meant to eat it within 48 hours. I'm not going to take any notice of that. I'm opening it. I've taken no notice of that whatsoever. To be totally honest, um, and um, this again is the original packet packaging from the front. Um, I haven't a clue what any of this means, it's in Polish, but I haven't a clue what any of that means. Um, and just to show you again, this is another one. I'm just going to, I'm not going to eat another one, don't worry, I'm just going to show it you. There you go. And that's another one, which is why I said it looks a bit like an ice cream, in many ways. <laughs> I know perhaps I'm exaggerating with an ice cream, but, it, you know... Maybe it's just me, you know. But anyway, there you go. Now, maybe there's other areas that do that. Maybe there's nothing Polish about this. Maybe it's, um, you know, apart from it's made in Poland, I'm assuming. Um, you know, Maybe the origins of this style of cooking are elsewhere. I have no idea, but there you go. So, a Polish chicken drumstick, which has been smoked and steamed, apparently, um, before it was before I even bought it. Okay, so I did nothing myself. I just I've just eaten it. I've done nothing myself. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Bye.